welcome to your weekly reading. This is Crystal Doty. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, cut. <laughs> no, we're gonna. Hey everybody, welcome to your weekly reading with your girl Crystal Doty. If you don't know who I am, I am an, an international intuitive, spiritual mentor, and the author of What Would Angels Do? Uh, this is a little different than I normally do. I'm not in my office. I'm obviously at this very small, cute little farm here, family owned. Uh, my niece owns this little area. And I thought it would be fun to actually come out here and give you guys something a little different. So um, obviously my readings this week are gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna start by having you choose a number from one to seven. Go ahead right now and just choose a number from one to seven and um, enjoy our cute little goats here. These guys are very friendly, very sweet. Uh, we like to hang out with them and they like to chew on our clothes. <laughs> All right, so if you've picked your number from one to seven, what I'm gonna do is pick one card per number. That's also going to be the days of the week. So the first card that I'm going to um, pick here for everybody, um, as I just shuffle the cards, I'm just asking that these readings be guided, that your angels are close, and that I don't get trampled by goats in the midst of doing this. <laughs> Okay, so the first card is number one. If you picked the number, if you've picked number one, this card is for you, or this is also gonna represent Monday of your week. So Monday, we got a loud chicken here. We've got the seven of air. Now, as you can see, um, we've got somebody with fingers crossed behind their backs. This usually means that there's some sort of a, something that comes to light on Monday, some sort of a revelation. Um, this could be somebody was maybe hiding something from you, um, maybe more going on than meets the eye, maybe something comes out that you're like, oh, that would explain the weirdness that I've been feeling. This is essentially kind of like a red flag. It means pay attention um, and that there might be some secrets going on. This could be you or somebody else that might be revealed on Monday. Um, or if that was your card, keep your eyes open and pay attention to red flags. Red flags don't mean you have to quit a relationship. It means that you need to communicate about what you're feeling or sensing, okay? So here we go to Tuesday or the number two. If you picked the number two, this card is for you. Well, we've got the three of earth. This is about networking. This is about people in your space, um, you know, recognizing you and you recognizing other people. This is about forming a really good tribe around you. Now, this is kind of talking about the workplace, um, but it's also talking about um, feeling like you finally have a place in your workplace. This could be, <laughs> sorry if the chickens are really loud. <laughs> I feel like I'm yelling over them. Um, this could be uh, you being recognized, employee of the month, that type of thing. Or if you are in management, this is always a really good card to start recognizing the people that help you fulfill your job, right? The people that are working for you. Um, or if this isn't about work for you, it's definitely about choosing who you spend your time with getting out of the drama of the people that might be bringing you down, okay? Wednesday, or card number three, if you picked the third card, or we're gonna be talking about Wednesday. We have the six of air. I love this card because it means travel, and I'm obviously in the midst of traveling right now, but you can see it's a woman, she's packing her bags, she's, you know, filling her trunk, she's ready to go somewhere. Now, this doesn't always have to be a physical trip. This can be a metaphoric trip. This could be a change of perception. This could also be you recovering from an illness or an addiction or something like that. Um, this could be also through work. Um, this could be, sorry, we've got a goat that's attacking my cameraman. <laughs> I'm trying to just push him over. There you go. Um, you might have to recover or um, relocate for work. Hey, come here, honey. You're fine. Um, might have to change location, but it is it, it also, um, sorry, I will say as, as, uh, um, as in, what's the word I'm looking at? Formal? No, I'm trying to stay on Serious? point here with all of these like animals around. <laughs> you Focused. guys have no many, have no idea how many takes we've, we've done, but they're all pretty calm right now. So that's good. <laughs> um, no, this could be a real recovery towards the middle of the week. He's biting my shoe. <laughs> Oh dear. Come here. Come on. Technical Come difficulties, on. everyone. No, never mind. Come on. Run a card? No? Okay. We're going to keep going. So, um, yeah, this could be a recovery. If you or someone you know has been sick or not feeling well, he's just smelling you. He's all right. Um, this is a recovery. 
All right, everybody, we're moving on to Thursday. So if you pick the number four, this one is for you. Um, or if you um, want to know what's going to be going on on Thursday. Well, we have the sun card. <laughs> I think you guys like the sun card. This is one of the most positive cards in the deck. This really means be optimistic. So come Thursday, you really, and or if this is your card, this is good news. It's optimism. It's, it's having a positive outlook. This is um, joy. So where Wednesday was kind of like recovery from uh, something, um, Thursday could definitely be you're feeling amazing. This is really great health. If you know somebody who's having a health issue, then this is definitely, um, you know, a recovery of someone that you love as well. You know what's really cool about this card too is that it can mean a bright idea. <laughs> it's like this idea to come and be with the goats. Oh, this is a great idea. Um, <laughs> you can't eat my bracelets. So, um, yeah, this is about happiness and joy and, uh, yeah, my clothing, if it survives, that'll be great. Thursday's a great day for great. Okay, let's go on to Friday or the number five. If you pick the number five, then this card is for you. They want the deck. You want answers, mom. <laughs> Friday is the king of fire. This is a really amazing card as well. Gosh, it looks like the, the week is turning out very good. So if you pick the number five, this is dealing with an, a fire sign. That's going to be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. You're also going to feel a lot more motivated. Now, remember, we start the week out with that full moon in Virgo. And, you know, that Virgo energy is going to make you feel like, yeah, we have decisions to make. Um, we've got to get grounded. Hope to see you guys at my full moon ceremony on m Monday night, which is tomorrow night in Salt Lake City. <laughs> but by the time Friday comes, I think that it's going to be celebration time. The, the King of Fire is very um, motivated. He he reminds me of like Tony Robbins, right? He's like, go for it, you know, so you're going to feel very uh, motivated. This is also about leadership. <laughs> I don't know where they're climbing on me. They want attention. Stepping into being a leader. Speaking of No, stepping. you cannot have my bracelets. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? It actually kind of feels good like a back massage. Okay, we're gonna we're not gonna do that. Okay, here we go. Saturday or the number six is next. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Are we gonna I'm down. Okay, but you need to get down. I'm gonna cross my legs. Alright, here we go. Saturday or the number six. As I was saying, Saturday and number six, we have the leap of faith. This is a brand new star. Ah. <laughs> so this is all about taking a huge leap of faith. So if Friday is the king of fire, you're going to feel very motivated. You might even get a really good idea on Thursday. Feel very motivated by Friday. And then by Saturday, you are jumping off. You are taking a big leap. This is a really fun, auspicious time. It's jumping into the unknown. And it's this is the first card in the deck. So it's dream big. Whatever you're dreaming about, you can make it happen. Oh my goodness. Last card. <laughs> Last card. Or number seven. If you pick the number seven, then this card is for you. Here we go for Sunday of next week. We have the High Priestess. So it's time to get intuitive. Time to go inside to um, maybe receive guidance on the idea that you have towards the end of the week. And really start asking for what is going to be my next step. You know what's really interesting? Saturday was a leap of faith, which is number zero in the deck. Then we have two. So we're talking about what is the next step for you? So as this week unfolds, I feel like it's going to probably start with um, some uh, decisions that you're having to make, some some difficult things that you're um, having to think about, you're, you're thinking about who are the people that I surround myself with? Do they, um, support my ideas that do they support my lifestyle? Do they support my dreams? And maybe it's even about, um, giving yourself some much needed recognition, uh, for the, the hard work that you're doing. And then through that recognition, having a brand new idea and some more motivation to move forward. So I think it's an active week. I think it's a week where, um, again, we start in the thinking zone and then we end in the doing zone and um, ending on a very spiritual um, note come Saturday or Sunday with that high priestess card going within, um, seeking intuitive guidance and um, feeling really good about the decisions that you've made this week. So, whew. okay, <laughs> we're going to try.
try to edit this video and put out my weekly reading. Um, for those of you in Utah, I cannot wait to see you in Northern Utah. All of my events are sold out and um, thank you just so much for the support. This was a lot of fun. I like to do things a little bit differently sometimes. Um, and until I see you again, as always, I'm sending you so much love light and everything right from the goats and the chickens. Have a beautiful week.